All right, my people, morning. How are you all doing? Um, this is around, I don't know, around 11 o'clock down here. You know, I hope you all are doing okay. I hope you guys are feeling great. Um, I'm really sorry. I have not been posting videos uh, regularly. Uh, lately, it was due to one, you know, unforeseen circumstances or the order. Sorry about that, you know, because I know you guys are really enjoying my videos i can see that you know in this particular video is for you that said you have sense some people claimed they have sense they said they have sense more than god this particular video is meant for you you that are full of senses you that claimed that your sense is more than god's sense this particular video is mostly for you. I am not directing it to any other person. You claimed that you know more than God. When God does something, you do not appreciate it. You claimed it's your own power. This particular video is for you. Apostle Johnson Suleiman just said it all in this video. If you haven't heard what he said, watch this video. And then you will see that you are senseless. You got no sense at all. Your own sense is just senseless. Listen to God when God speaks. God's sense is better than yours. God does not have to make sense to you for him to be God. The fact that what God has told you does not make sense to you is a proof you don't have sense. Did you just hear that? When God does something, you say, oh, how can this be possible? God can do this. Did you hear that? That's where your sense ends. That's where God's own resumes. You have exhausted your human reasoning. God does not have to make sense to you. Somebody comes and says, in one that's that number, Papa blessed oil, anointed my phone. He started walking. Ah, ah. Annoying phone. Who is talking? Somebody who does not have sense. God really works in a miraculous way, in a mysterious way, in a way that is beyond your own sense. I am anointed my laptop instantly. The laptop came up. That's not common for the, for months. It came up. Yeah. How come? That was God at work. You don't have sense. So you cannot figure out God. You cannot reason out God. You cannot think of how God works and how God operates. Anytime you try to do that, you put yourself at risk. Am I communicating here? Yeah? Yes, Papa. The Bible says, His ways are past finding out and there is no searching to His understanding. Trying to understand God is to put yourself in a mess. Acknowledge God for what he has done. Acknowledge God for all he has done. Acknowledge God for all he has done. He will do it again. Acknowledge God for all he has done in your life. Acknowledge God for all he is doing. Acknowledge God for what he has done. He will do it again. When I hear that so, this was the song composed by Prophet T.B. Joshua. Acknowledge God. Acknowledge God for what he has done in your life. Acknowledge God for what he would do in your life. Acknowledge God for what he is doing now in your life. And he will do it again. He will continue to do it. But when you fail to acknowledge God, it's not good. It is not good. If you can say your, 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 your mom can give you money and you say, mommy, thank you. Mommy, thank you for, you know, giving me this money. Thank you for giving me food. Your mommy will appreciate that and will continue to do more. I know because he's your mom. The same thing with God. God is bigger than your mom. 
when God, you know, gives you breath, when God spares you for another day, you need to appreciate him. You need to appreciate him because those that couldn't make it the following day, you are not better than them. You, you, you are not. Just appreciate God for this grace. Appreciate God with, appreciate God for the small opportunity that he gave to you. Appreciate God. But if you decide not to appreciate God, that is your own wahala. I just to tell you, say, make you appreciate God. Because I know when you appreciate God, God will continue to do it. And that is why I'm telling you, you appreciating God is very, very good. Appreciate God. All right. If you haven't watched this song composed by Prophet T.B. Joshua, you know, as I said before, I'm not going to stop talking about, you know, uh, Baba, you know, T.B. Joshua. There's no way this man of God, you know, names can go off my mouth, you know, because people we always say Emma is talking about Prophet T.B. Joshua all the time. Yes, I know. I know because I know the person I'm talking about. Because I know the grace he carried. Because I know what is in him. Because I know what he has done in my life. You might not understand. You might not understand at all what the God of Prophet T.B. Joshua is using me to do. You might not understand what God or prophet TB Joshua has really done in my life. You might not, you might not understand where the God of prophet TB Joshua took me from and where he's taking me to. You may not understand. If you not understand, Naya Wahala, because I know the God of prophet TB Joshua will always be my God. It's not a man-made God. It's not human. It's God that you can never see. It's God in heaven because the man served God. God was his father. He served God with his whole heart. He really served God. And you know, when people hear about this prophet, it's not just like any other prophet because he was picked by God. God picked prophet T.B. Joshua. God selected him. Among us, God selected him and made him his own. He selected him and choose him and took him home when it was the right time for God to do that. Prophet T.B. Joshua composed this song that you heard me sing. So if you want to watch it, go over to Emmanuel TV and watch it there. It's there is where Prophet T.B. Joshua, you know, composed it and some of his evangelists sang it. So if you really want to watch it, you know, uh, there you go there and watch it. Acknowledge God. Acknowledge God, my people. God bless you all. Tara, bye-bye. Tara, bye-bye.